Hi everyone, this is Bhamini from the Department of Computer Applications. Myself, today going to deal about what is network and what are the different types of networks. First, let me define why we need a network. Network is a set of devices connected through links. A node can be a computer, printer or any other device used to send or receive the data. The links connecting the nodes are known as communication channels. The main aim is to share the resources among devices. So networks play a vital role to interconnect and transfer data from one node to another. Now let us discuss about the types of network. First let me deal about what is LAN and WAN, Internetwork and Internet. First LAN. LAN is a privately owned network which can be used either in a single office, building or a campus. It can be extended from two PCs with a printer in home, office or throughout the audio computer devices which can be interconnected. Host in LAN has a unique ID. A packet is being transmitted in LAN from both source and destination host IDs. In the past, the packets were sent all through interconnected hosts, but now only the recognized recipients can alone receive the packet from where we have sent over. Switch allows communication for more than one pair and regulates the traffic. The LAN can have common cable or switch which can able to interconnect the nodes. Nowadays, LAN can be extended as WAN and we can able to expand more. So hence, LAN plays a vital role in a single office or a building or within a campus to share any data. Next, let us pass on to WAN. WAN provides a long distance transmission of data, image, audio and video transformation over large geographical areas that may compromise a country, a continent or even the whole world. So the whole global world is being interconnected through the wide area network. WAN can be as complex as the backboard that connects the internet or as simple as a dial-up line that connects a home computer to the internet. So WAN can able to interconnect two or more LANs or it can able to cover the overall global world. The WAN can able to be further divided into point to point or switch. Point to point WAN. Point to point wide area network consists of only two end nodes which can able to be connected by a lease line. The lease line is going to be a communication media that is a cable which can be guided or unguided through which the data can be transferred from one node to the another node. So that, that is going to be called as point to point van. Next one is switched van. Switched van helps you to connect two or more nodes which can able to provide through switches. Switched WAN network has more than two ends. The combination of more point to point WAN connected by switches is going to be called as switched WAN. So we can able to have any end to point devices but the overall end to end devices can able to be interconnected through switched WAN. Next, internetwork. Two or more networks, whether it can be a LAN, MAN or it can be any different type of devices which is being now currently available or all can be able to be connected only through internetwork or it can be called as internet. So when you are going to connect or interconnect more number of networks, then it is going to be called as internetwork. So consider an organization which can able to have three offices. So the offices can able to be on any location either on the east or it can be on the west or it can be on the south. All can be within the building so it is going to be called as LAN and three LANs can able to be interconnected through 
point to point van so when you are going to interconnect through point to point van then it forms a internetwork and also a company can have private internet or it can able to have internetwork then in this office the switch transmit messages but in different offices router helps you to send the information the router plays a vital role where to route over the messages from one internet that is network to the another network through internet work then finally internet now the whole globe is being interconnected through different types of thousands of interconnected networks whatever we are going to transmit the data whether it is going to be from laptop or it can be a desktop or it can be a printer or it can be a mobile or it can be a network whatever may be the global world is being interconnected through only internet that is why internet is going to be called as a public network which is not being owned by any organization to summarize computer networks what is the meaning of computer networks i have discussed and i have said over what are the different types of networks lan and wan this lan and wan can able to be interconnected and it forms a internetwork throughout the world it forms a internet thank you for watching the slide thank you